Trucking with Johnny Mac here. I got a parking spot. I'm in Nespokic, uh, Pennsylvania. And I'll tell you, I got so lucky. Oh my God, look at this. There's no more parking spots left, but look. I got parked next to Swifty right there. And I got the park next to a Swifty right there. I'm sandwiched in between the love. This is Phelandea. What I'm about to do is only for professional drivers to do. Steering wheel with steering wheel holders. Don't try this, okay? Uh, disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Leave this to the professional drivers. All right. Okay. I got protection on. Protection on my eyes. Protect me from the bright spot in the sky. You can see it up there behind me. It's a ruthless, ruthless ball of fire. All right. So now I'm outside the safety of my truck cabin. I'm out here in the elements, out here in the open. This is, this is the open uh, atmosphere. Now it doesn't appear to be affecting me in any negative way, um, but that is because professional drivers, professional drivers, this is, this is how it happens. So again, all you steering wheel holders, do not try this. All right, here I am putting trash in the trash can. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go back. It's working. Now, again, steering wheel holders, don't try this. If you see anybody doing this, okay, here we are. Here we are, we're okay, well, I'm back in the safety of my truck. All right, so I did it. Um, I got my trash to a trash can and I threw it away. I survived because as a professional driver, I have a resistance to the environment. I have a resistance to the atmosphere. Professional drivers have this. Um, it's an excellent thing to have. Uh, steering wheel holders, someday maybe you'll be able to have that, but uh, you know, just take it slow, okay? I know it's rough on you guys, rough, but Someday you'll be able to have the resistances and the integrity and the agility and the physical ability that professional drivers have to be able to do what I just accomplished. But in the meantime, we'll just keep laughing at you and calling you boneheads. Hi, and welcome to Bonehead Truckers, brought to you by TRC Freight, home of the 88% and no flip flops. I mean to tell you, TRC ain't about them flip-flops. Hey, it's Sunday morning. It's Sunday and it's time for Tales from the Truck Stop. This is the stuff we make fun of, the dumb stuff we see in the freaking truck stops. Listen, this is what we do. We see crap, so if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm just showing you guys stuff that you guys see, we all see, but... Maybe some people don't see. So let's just all share it out. And if you got videos, pictures of all that crazy nonsense going on out there and you want to see it on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. That's our email address. Or join our Facebook group, Say No to Bonehead Truckers. Link in the description. Here we got this freaking idiot uh, washing his truck in a, in a freaking fuel island with a squeegee. I'm telling you guys, these things ain't getting your truck clean. <laughs> and then you're tearing up the freaking squeegee on top of it. Now listen, look at that truck. That truck looks like a piece of crap. Alright, just a pile of junk. And then you're going, I mean, you know, you still ain't improving that truck there, guy. No speaking the old English. Look at old Swifty Swift right here. I'm tired of you talking about Swift all the time. It's getting really old. It's getting really old. Lee Swift alone. It's my favorite company. Oh, Swifty Swift. He gonna get up on the scale. And he can't read no English where it sits there and says don't slide tandems on the scale. All the way back there, Swifty Swift. All the way back. Just, just go ahead and do it all the way back. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that, you lazy freaking idiot. 
What's that on his? Is that like a knee pad? He's got a knee pad on his? Is that a knee pad? You're missing a knee pad there, buddy. I don't know what that was. Anyways, uh, watch this guy pulling out here. Watch the guy on the left. Watch the guy on the right. Boom! Doggone! What are you thinking, Brian? What are you doggone thinking? Got our field reporters out here, don't you know? What this bonehead is doing. As you can see, he's blocking everybody in at the fuel island. He's not even in his truck. Oh, there he is. He's getting in his truck now. Pull up before he's trying to block me. That is some crazy stuff. What the fuck is this guy think he's doing? <laughs> he's got to do a U-turn at the fuel island. Because after he scaled, he can't make the turn. Because J.B. Hunt decided to take his break in a spot that's not only not a parking spot, but blocking people from leaving. Way to go. Unfreaking believable. Here I am. At the scale. And this bonehead decides to park right here at the scale exit. It says Anchor South. Truck number 30. Let's see who this bonehead is. Look at all this parking available. How you doing, sir? I think you just made it a bonehead trucker. Is that a program on YouTube? You decided to park your truck over here, having all this space over here blocking me? I pull out. You can, you can, you can go out. You can go out anywhere before you have to wait. I come back. No, I have the app. I don't need to do that. I have the app. So next time, be considerate, man. Look at all the space. Well, guess what? You made it a bonehead truckers. It's a live show. It's a show on YouTube. A sure thing, man. All right. Bonehead truckers. Yep. Hey, guys. If you want to support the channel and you want a shirt that says bonehead truckers on it and a nice little message on the back, you go to bonehead truckers, get these shirts, okay? Christmas is coming up. Buy one for your friends and family, your husband, your trucker, your wife, what have you. Go get one, get one today. All right, go do it. Christmas is coming. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.